Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I am going to change the interface, the graphics, the tile set to... M-Shock. This was M-Shock 24. Now we're on M-Shock 32. I'm expecting this to be very similar to the previous M-Shock. Wait, did I accidentally change anything else? Let me try that again. M-Shock 32. Alright. Save changes? Yes. I wanted to make sure I didn't save or change anything else. Alright. We're going back to the land of Grey Ridge. I'm Wilford Butler. Here we go. Welcome back to... Oh, I see. It's a larger version of the tile set. I don't like that as much. Or, well, do I? So this is... Hmm. I mean, it's kind of cool having the tiles be larger, but I can't see as far. No, I don't like that. Let me try a different tile set. 32. Retro ASCII. I'm going to skip on that one. Retro days 10 picks. Retro days 20 picks. Let's 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 try a retro days tile set. Let's see what that looks like. Retro days tile set. Testing. Uh, I'm not going to do the re retro days. No. Save and quit. I mean, maybe I haven't given it a fair assessment, but... So, 20 picks isn't going to be very... Well, how about th Thuz Tours? Let's check, check out Thuz Tours. Oops. Welcome back to the old land of Grey Ridge. I'm Wilford Butler. Okay, so... It's like a combination of a tile set and ASCII graphics. I'm still an at symbol. No, I'm not feeling it. Save and quit. Alright. Again. Wait. No. Again. Graphics. Sue's. Let's, let's see if Sue has made a good tile set. Welcome back to the land of Grey Ridge. I'm Wilford Butler. This one's interesting. I'll I'll try this one. All right. So, welcome back to the land of Grey Ridge. I'm Wilford Butler. We're trying out Sue's tile sets. I checked out some others, but they didn't look good enough. Okay. So, this tile set does it does share actually some with the original tile set. Actually. Uh, that, well, actually, that looks rather ugly. <laughs> On second thoughts, save and quit. Let's, let's, let's try a different tile set. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> just, just, wow, the outs, the land outside just isn't what it used to be, is it? <laughs> just looking, my, my Grey Ridge is an ugly place. Oh. This place, this this has potential. This has potential. Wait, I didn't see whose tile set this was. I was starting to I was starting to doubt that anyone's tile set besides the one I was using. I mean, I kind of look like a stick stick figure kind of guy. I'm very much a stick man, but everything else looks good. Uh, it's a bit more zoomed in than the previous tile set, but I can always hit the zoom out button. All right, let's give let's give this tile set a try. Let's let's see. So, right now, I was unhappy about acorns. That's what, where we last left off. Where we last left off, Mr. Th Rock Throwing Man was very unhappy about acorns. Other than that, uh, Wolford Butler is feeling pretty good. Alright. So, what's next on the agenda? Wolford Butler asks himself. I could just continue to become the master of throwing skill. Actually, that doesn't sound like the worst decision. Yes, let's let's train to become the master of all throwing skills. That seems like a good idea. Oh, that's a shrub. Okay. It's like, what is that? That is a shrubbery, sir. 
And that's that's a bluebell. Okay, it's that's the thing. Uh, that's when you don't when you haven't used this tile set before, you're going to be asking yourself, what is all this stuff? What is that? That's just normal everyday thing. All right, so let's go into town and see a tough zombie. This zombie is tough. Tough zombies were represented by football players last time I played. Last with the, with the previous tile sets. What are they now? He now looks like a tougher kind of guy. If I need to zoom the tile set back in. He he looks like a guy. Well, he might look like any other zombie for all I for all I can tell, but. He does look like... He doesn't look like a football player anymore, that's all I gotta say. Alright, so... Distance on that zombie is 30. Right now I'm seeing about... Probably about as far as I can throw, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay zoomed out like this for now. I'm a... Well, you may be a zombie, but I am unhappy about Acorn, so you... You really bugged me at a bad time. Yep, actually, that's perfect. Uh, my view range is just, just about as far as my throwing range. It's just about perfect. Or my, uh, my screen distance. My drawing distance. Smack! Take that, tough zombie. You're not so tough now, are you? Headshots. Throwing skill has increased to eight. Ooh boy. We're gonna be doing some really good throwing from now on. Eight is actually the highest... Yeah, it's the highest I've ever had a skill. That's... That eight is higher than the starting of most skills. Okay, I ran out of rocks... That is a minor problem. And yes, I'm unhappy about Acorn still. Uh, the tough zombie is feeling severely injured. I can throw skewers at a range of 10. I've got 179 nails. Right, that, that has... The 179 nails has volume, right? Oops, I forgot about that. I must have, I must have accidentally picked up my nails at some point. I... I told myself I wasn't going to carry those around, and then I started carrying those around again. Okay. Pebble time. Smack. Miss. Reflects off the zombie's hide. That's an interesting way to put it. Reflects. Bounces. I mean, I guess it... it yeah, it's basically syn synonymous. Although... Okay, we killed him with pebbles. I wasn't sure if I had enough pebbles to do that. I'm gonna butcher, butcher, butcher. And that used up a lot of my focus. We're gonna get my rocks back. Okay, another zombie down there. We'll take care of him later. How far away is he? 42. Okay, I feel safe about this. Just gonna gather up all these rocks. I'm unhappy about acorns. What are you unhappy about? What? Yes. Where was the zombie? Oh, there was two zombies. Oh, sh sh Nikes. I didn't see the other zombie. Okay. Or safe mode did another... Did that zombie just appear? Did that zombie just spawn or what happens? Because I, uh... I don't remember that zombie being there. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't get infected. That's all I've got to say. I've got 20 rocks for you. I'm just going to back away. I can totally outrun that guy. Safe mode was on. I mean, what happened, safe mode? Did I... I didn't ignore that zombie, did I? Oh, well. Yeesh, that made me uncomfortable, but... Oh, or maybe it was a zombie that got back up. Actually, that could be the case. Either it spawned or it got back up. Either way, that sort of thing, it can happen. I, I am willing to accept those sort of things happening. It's just... is freaky. Should I wear a dust mask? A dust mask... I do remember this dust mask. It will make my mouth slightly warmer, but it will give me encumbrance, which makes me run slightly slower. Just slightly. I think I will wear the dust mask. And so, once again, it encumbers my mouth and makes movement cost five more points. Uh... Well, actually, that does actually seem like a larger amount. I mean, it's not a ton, but for what it's offering... I'm willing to breathe in some smoke instead. That's just... I don't know. That that seems like a bit much. Sorry, dust mask. I'm gonna set that down. It doesn't make you that warm. A screwdriver. I think a screwdriver was useful for something, but I can't remember what. Another ID card. I must have not picked this up earlier. Oh, and cargo pants. I already was wearing cargo pants, right? 
but you seem to be wear, able to wear two pairs of pants. I'm wearing denim shorts, jeans, and... Yeah, so instead of jeans, I can wear another pair of cargo pants. Do we want to put on the cargo pants? Yes, I want to put on the cargo pants. So now I am Tegan Three Pants. I mean, uh, Wilford, Wilford Three Pants. He's wearing three pairs of pants. So actually, he does not. Well, he does not want to be Mr. Three Pants. So I'm going to take off a pair of pants. Uh, although these jeans are in perfect condition, they do not offer the storage space of other pants solutions. Nor do they offer the warmth. So. Uh, although, actually, let me let me take a look at... Ew, ew, sorry. I cannot eat my sling. That's invalid direction. I'm not even sure what I'm trying... Oh, I hit caps lock. I'm sorry. I hit caps lock by mistake. No wonder. <laughs> uh, he, oops, at one point, Tegan went nuts, and he tried to eat his pants. That's what happens when he accidentally hit caps lock. My, my character temporarily went a bit off the deep ends. But 15 warmth, one bash, one cut. Versus jeans. Ten warmth, three bash, three cut protection. So actually I'm lowering my armor potential for warmth and storage space. I think I like this exchange, despite the fact that it could end poorly for me. Okay, and I guess I want to start learning more about uh, the stitching and the sewing and stuff. So... Um, I'll be doing some of that in the future, but it's nice to have a screwdriver. Uh, I've got some more storage space now. So, wait. Why am I coming in here? Uh, I'm not even certain of my objective at the moment. It was just a train. I was just coming in here. I guess I'm coming in here for warmth, relatively. Or generally. Uh, let's, let's not drink toilet water, then. <laughs> okay, a zombie. The zombie is 15 away, which means I can throw rocks at it. We might as well start doing that. And then I will evacuate this house. Okay, let's turn that off. Or ignore. I want to, I'm not going to turn safe mode off, but I'm going to ignore the zombie I'm currently fighting. And the zombie I'm currently fighting is severely injured. Okay, make sure that no one else is coming down the hallway at me. Okay, a fat zombie. That is 54 away. That is fine. That is just fine. I am fine with this. Going to pick up my rocks. Going to look at the window frame. I'm not seeing a zombie corpse. I was thinking there was going to be a zombie corpse there that I would have to slaughter, but I guess not. Uh, okay, rotten ketchup on the floor. I remember those days. The good old... Okay, hello, zombies. They are not coming this way. Oh, the fat zombie definitely looks fat. That tile is accurate, I must say. Has Matt zombie. Okay, where are you? Over there, okay. All the zombies are far away. A uh, little concerning, but still. Uh, sheets. There's a pair of sheets outside and a heavy stick. Okay, here's the zombie corpse. I'm gonna... I am gonna butcher the zombie corpse. Despite the fact that it will allow the other zombies to catch up to me, potentially. Give me these rocks. And, uh, should I take anything else? I guess a long string, why not? Could be useful in the future, but I'll leave the stick. I will leave the stick. Actually, bringing the nail board around would be not the worst idea these days with, with the kind of storage capacity I've got now. Maybe I should go get some more rocks. I'm feeling comfortable. My focus is steadily returning. My, uh, my sadness about the acorns. I'm not feeling so bad about the acorns anymore. I'm gonna have some spiritual contemplation moments. Yep, my, uh, my sadness over the acorns has completely passed. Yeah, my speed is full. No negative modifiers. Yeah, let's do a little bit more combats, despite the fact that I did almost get bitten once. A grabber zombie. Don't like the sound of a grabber zombie, though. Something about that just doesn't make me feel right. Uh, let's... Let's choose a different opponent besides the grabber zombie, shall we? How about that normal zombie? Or we could just not fight at all. I mean, my focus is a little bit low. We... the, this, the sneaker fits. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna grab. I'm just gonna grab some materials and get get out of here. Cardboard box full of cookies. Cookies. I love. Wait. <laughs> no, I don't. I forgot. I don't love cookies. I'm sorry. I was about to lie. <laughs> oh. Tegan, you're not in character. Wow, we're getting a lot of ID cards. Okay. We need to find more labs. A pair of sunglasses, you say? Some... A bra that fits, you say? <laughs> wow, I've been looking for panties and a bra that fits for not any time at all but imagine the possibilities or don't actually maybe don't imagine the possibilities uh so the sunglasses uh once again i am wearing uh my eyes are slightly encumbered so i could accidentally step on a trap and actually have lower perception when throwing items what is on my eyes that is making them so, so uh, impaired? Okay, so I've got the ballistic glasses, but they shouldn't be encumbering me at all. But what else is covering my eyes? Not the denim shorts. Oh, the bike helmets? Does it cover my eyes? Well, no. And... Even if it did, it wouldn't do that. Does the straw hat... No. The straw hat is paper. The straw hat is not paper. It's... It's not... Okay, well, fine. Oh, oh, that's right. I've got fit over sunglasses. Okay. Do, do I have anything else? Uh... Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take off the fit over sunglasses. Drop them? Yes. So then, how do my eyes... No, it still says three. Why? Oh, oh just, I'm over encumbered. That's why I was thinking. I was questioning my my clothing choices. Putting in a screwdriver would be tricky, wouldn't it? Well, I uh, I seem to. Oh, you okay? You put on a pair of fit over sunglasses. You put on. You already wearing sunglasses? No, I'm not already wearing sunglasses. Oh, it's a capital I. Your eyes are very encumbered. Okay, well, actually, that's not very encumbered. That's just encumbered. That's one level of encumbrance. But let me look at the sunglasses, the normal sunglasses. So they are 3-4. Yeah, they're exactly the same as the fit-over sunglasses, but they don't fit over, so... All right. I, I'm sorry. That was a waste of time. I just was indulging in an idea that's not panning out. Okay. Uh, I've got a good feeling that I'm bringing back some things. What else is I bringing back? I'm bringing back a ton of rocks, actually. So I'm going to drop like about 20 rocks right here. And I'm going to get some other resources because I, I, I wanted to work on my, my, my tailoring. That's what I wanted to do. But gathering up rocks is useful for future combat. But a bunch of rags. I'm not gonna destroy the jeans that fit. There's no reason to destroy things that fit. But I will cut up a bra. You could not salvage a rag from the bra or the panties. Okay, well, there's not much of a point in cutting up a bra and panties, except for the sheer sick pleasure of cutting up bra and panties. What is wrong with me? Okay, polo shirt. Polo shirt is essentially a rag before you cut it up, so. Um, a pair of sneakers? Sure, they don't fit. Okay, th there's there's a lot more material in a... Uh... Nope, cannot salvage a rag from that. Cannot salvage a rag from... The... What I'm learning is that you don't cut up women's clothing, because they're not... <laughs> there's really not much material in women's clothing, is there? Is that is that what we're learning today? Kind of feels like that. So that's what we're learning. And shoes. It's all about... Like, I can even cut up... Nope, okay. Yeah, boxer sh There's not much... On boxer in boxer shorts is there okay all right cancel uh, undershirts that'll do it no okay well this lab coat doesn't fit five rags and this lab coat doesn't fit four rags and uh, I do not want to cut up the ram although that'd be an interesting idea uh, yeah and you can't or maybe I could have refit those cargo pants but that's fine 
Okay, bunch of rags. I got a bunch of rags. I'm going to bring a bunch of rags home. And then I'm going to do some tailoring nonsense. That's what I'm telling myself. And I'm keeping myself unencumbered so I can see, potentially see minefields before I step on them. Because I do not want to step in a minefield for obvious reasons. I wonder, is a way to, like, reload or recharge the tailor's kits? Like, with, like, extra... Uh... Yeah, reload. Yeah, with... Okay, cool. Yeah, there is. Okay. I was gonna say, because it seems like they said thread. They said thread with the tailor's kits. So I was like, so why can't I reload my tailor's kit with thread? And yes, yes you can. Congratulations, Tegan. You understand how a tailor's kit works. Or wait, not. I don't want to activate a bike helmet. I don't think, anyways. Uh, reload! You reload your tailor's kits. Let's do some tailoring! Alright. So. I can make things from rags, I can make socks. Or a loincloth for my loins. I do need a cloth for my loins. I was always, I was just thinking that my loins are <laughs> all right then. It's enough of that. A pouch. Interesting idea. It goes on the torso, but it would give you one encumbrance. Whereas that's the great thing about the loincloth is it fits and. Sadly, it would not keep my loins in. You'd think that that would offer a certain amount of warmth. All it offers is 5% 5 5 protection. Um, covers your modesty, not much else. This piece of clothing is large enough to accommodate the uh, mutated anatomy, so that's great. Hand wraps. 5 warmth. Uh, my hands did need a bit of warmth, didn't they? And they fit. Foot rags. Uh, not much better than barefoots, but they can lie close to the skin and make your feet warmer. Simple patchwork. Scarf. Zero encumberments. 20 warmth. That's actually... Or a long patchwork. Um. That seems like... And can accommodate your hands, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, environmental protection 2 covers the mouth. Zero encumbrance. So, yeah, that'll keep me nice and warm. Let's make a long patchwork scarf immediately. We have made a long patchwork scarf. All right. I'm going to wear that. Yeah. Yeah. Now my mouth is all warm and, uh, oh, that is giving me encumbrance. Running cost, five extra movement points. Is say say layers. It's mouth layers. What else is layering up on my mouth? It's giving me the mouth layers. I got this on my mouth. No mouth. No mouth. No mouth. No mouth. The leather belt is not on my mouth. Now this can go on the mouth, right? But only if you don't have other things on the mouth. So I don't think that's. It's not covering my mouth. That's covering my head, not my mouth. That's not in the mouth. It's not in my mouth. Oh, f right, the scarf. Duh, I forgot to take off my scarf. That's right, it was replacing the scarf. Wait. Oh wait, I was confused then before. Did I also have the, uh, the dust mask on my mouth? Well, anyways, now I've got a long patchwork scarf, so my mouth well, it's still a bit cold, but now I can run faster. My base movement is faster with the long patchwork scarf. So I, I still think that that is an improvement, but not as much as uh, <laughs> as I was hoping. Oh, and I can modify. Okay, so if I wanted something else to fit, like this leather belt, then I could modify things. But that would probably mess things up. Let's continue making items first. It seems like making items, fabrication, is the safer thing to learn your skills. We can make a turban, which is kind of warm. Other than that, not so great. So, 
I can make a simple patchwork scarf, but not a long patchwork scarf anymore. Uh, let's make some hand wraps. Yeah, hand wraps sound good. Okay, hand wraps complete. I'm gonna wear those. And now my hands still completely unencumbered and slightly warmer. All right. So yeah, I'm warmer and less encumbered, so I will be faster. Faster, warmer, better. Let's get some sleep. And then tomorrow, I will embrace a new tile set. Where did I put my magazine? Did I bring it with me? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to leave... Where is this? I'm going to set down these patches, these nails, these rags, the long string. Oops. What I, not my medical ghost, the long string. And this screwdriver right here. I'm going to pick up Timmy Magazine. Timmy! And we've got plenty of water. Uh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, do we have any other food in the house? Okay, well, I'm going to crunch on cookies. I know my stomach won't be happy. Ugh, how can anyone eat this stuff? Ugh. Ugh, it makes me depressed. Oh, it's 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 junk food and wheat. Why? Oh, cookies. How can anyone eat cookies? This is ridiculous. Oh god. No, why? Why cookies? No. Cookies are terrible. It gets, that's why it's giving me a double warning. It's a double warning. <laughs> I eat cookies. No. Oh, I want to die. Oh, I enjoyed them, though. <laughs> but, oh, they're so terrible. Enjoyable, but terrible. <laughs> Perplexing, isn't it? All right. I enjoyed the fact that I want to kill myself. Now I'm going to read Timmy Magazine. Although I've got no intelligence whatsoever because I'm a depressed... Is that D8? Depressed 8 or something? Or No, no. That's, that's supposed to be a sad mouth. That's a face. The D8 in the upper right corner is a, a sad mouth. It's supposed to be my sadness. I'm so sad that I'm completely unintelligible. Okay. Why spirituality will guide me through this time. <laughs> this trying time of, of... Of bad cuisine. All my focus is steadily dropping away. But that's fine. I didn't have that much focus left to begin with. Okay. Timmy Magazine... Save me from my, uh, save me from my state to me magazine. Oh, did I? No, okay, uh. So, yeah, read the magazine, apply spiritualism twice. And then continue reading the magazine. This is terribly complex. Apply spiritualism twice. Yeah, still feeling terrible. There's not actually much of a reason to continue, um, trying to read. Actually, I should just sleep. Let's just get some sleep. Did I leave the door open? I hope I didn't leave the door open. Yeah, I, I probably should board the place up, actually. That's probably something I should have done a while ago. I probably should be sleeping with my nail board, too. That, Or actually, the butcher's knife. Maybe I should take the butcher's knife with me. The butcher's knife is smaller and a better melee weapon than nothing. Although it has a hit bonus of negative three. That's actually a hit penalty, is what you would call that. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to close the curtains. The curtains! My word. Okay, so, actually, I'm feeling better, right? Am I feeling better? I got comfy. I'm feeling completely better. All right. I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Although the nail board is quite heavy, actually. I want to sneak into town and get plenty of supplies, so. What I'm going to do is take this glass jar of water. Drink it down. This plastic bottle of water. Drink it down, and then we're going to go into town and get some more water, and uh, maybe I can find some food, and some more supplies for making clothing. I'm, in t I'm, I'm, I'm a tailor now. I've become a tailor. Uh, we're in safe mode? Okay. So I'm going to make this my last errand, and then I will take a break. Okay, so uh, let's cut 
T-shirt, leather sandals. Cut all you can! Okay, so. Tainted meat, tainted bone, a rock, a rag. That's it? Okay. Um, let me take a look at this pocket knife. Or pocket knife. It has a cutting quality of 1 and a butchering quality of 12. So that's not very good cutting quality, but it cuts... It, it, it passes the cut, as it were. This has a cutting quality of 1 as well, but it has a butchering quality of 25. Okay, so as far as cutting other things besides meat, it's just as good as anything else. Or it's just as good as my pocket knife. But when it comes to meat, ooh, that butcher knife. Obviously, the butchering is what it's all about. Which is, yeah, just no surprise. No real surprise there, but... I... Oh, I, I, brought, I brought my favorite magazine with me. Alright, well, Timmy, you're gonna have to sit here for now. I'll be back. Don't worry. Dare I butcher a top hat? Oh, I don't think I can. I, th I don't think I can take apart a top hat. That would just be. That would be ungentlemanly to take apart a top hat. No, sir. I don't think you dare do such a thing. That would be intolerable, unthinkable, sir. Most ungentlemanly, unthinkable. Yes. All right. So what can I get? Some black pepper. That's been sitting there for a while. Every time I've been looking at this. I've been looking at this pepper for so long that I eventually took it with me. Cargo pants will now become cargo. That's right, there's another Timmy magazine right here. Ooh, a new one. Okay, well. Oops, whoops, okay. Pick up baseball cap, pick up that, pick up the rock. I cannot carry such a large volume. Well, then these two things will have to be destroyed. You know, I was thinking about modifying the cargo pants, but I already I already got two cargo pants, except for their damage. But it's like I can eat, I can fix the cargo pants. So cut up all you can. Eight rags. Take all the rags with you. We'll make new things. Take old clothes and make new clothes. Anything else here? Oh, rags. I already seem to have. Uh, I don't want to disassemble the rags. Oh, I see. Disassembling a rag makes a hundred threads. Interesting. And those threads then then can then be used for was was it threads that were used for the uh, used for the tailor's kit? So yeah, yeah, it's not that hard to get uh, more thread. All right, feeling a little cold. Let's get back to the shelter. And food is now more of an issue than ever, but I will take care of that next time. So three patches, eleven rags. The magazine. Got some more water. And some pepper. So that whatever I bring back can be... Uh, it, it can have a little bit... It can, it's still going to be a little bit spicier. So. 16 space. Most of it taken up by rocks. And some of it being taken up by a rogue tailor's kit. I seem to have brought a tailor's kit with me as well. I wasn't thinking about my inventory last time, so... Alright, make some pebbles. I would like two packs of pebbles. Bring me up to... Oh, wait, did I not do that? You can't see to craft. Oh, I thought I could see. Well, it, I mean, it looks like I can see pretty far, but that's neither here nor there. Apparently it's not good enough light. Two packages of pebbles. Save and quit. And I'm just going to actually keep continuing. I'm just... Gonna change the uh, tile set. Blockheads was interesting. Blockheads was... Uh, it seems like it was made by a guy with some level of intelligence, so... Uh, maybe more than the name would imply, so... Wait, who's who, who are we using now? I wasn't paying attention. This one's kind of interesting, I must admit. I look like a guy with a weird helmet. My guy looks kind of weird, but this, this tile set, it definitely... It definitely passes initial muster, so I'll say that much. Alright, so... I've got my Browning BLR on. I've got all my wonderful armor. I'm just frickin' hungry. That's all there is to it, so... A little chilly. 
and a little hungry. Just gonna... Oh, and now I'm thirsty. Okay. So let's pick up this bottle of water. Drink a little bit and hope we don't get the food poisoning. Because this would be a bad timing for it. And now... I guess I'm gonna hop out the window, because that's the classy thing to do. Gonna go south here and get those rocks that I dropped earlier on the road. Wasn't there some road rocks? Get these road rocks back. So what's this? Pavements. Not that. That is what a rock looks like. Okay, the rocks. Yep, those are my road rocks. Alright. Alright, I got 31 rocks. I'm ready to rock something. Now let's go look for something to rock. We'll heavily rock something. And we're gonna heavily rock it and then we're gonna... Just roll out. Heavily rock something and then eat. I need... I need something to eat. It's either that or... Well... Actually, I do remember there being some food in the bottom of this... The basement of that house, but... I was thinking more like meat on wild animals kind of thing. Eh, but it is kind of dark out right now. I mean, morning is coming. But I could use food... A bit more shortly. So, there's nothing we can do with dandelions, right? Dandelions. I can't make dandelion wine. That'd be a, that'd be a lot of work. Alright. So... Okay, hello, Decayed Pouncer. Yeah, I was kind of asking for some sort of creature to come out. But I'm feeling very confident in my throwing skills, so let's see how much damage I can do. Slam! Slam! Eleven! Headshots! I'm just hitting him in the head over and over again. This is amazing. I'm nothing but headshots because, of, because I've got throwing skill of eight. He's heavily injured now. Wow, okay. But he pounced, so... Um... I still might have to shoot it. How is it looking, though? Let me see. Throw, rock. Severely injured. Uh, I'm gonna step away. Okay, yep, he just leapt. That's... Uh, I should have expected that. Alright, he... He ripped my belt! And hit my torso. Okay. Bang. Whew. I risked being infected there, actually. I gotta be more careful. I really gotta be more careful. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty careful. Don't get me wrong. I'm hardly... I'm hardly getting bitten. But still, there's a difference between barely, rarely getting bitten versus not getting bitten at all. <laughs> There's a, there's obviously a potential of me getting, it's, uh, you know, in some ways I'm lucky that I have not been infected yet. And this is a lesson that maybe I should wait till daytime before I go out and, uh, hunt, and hunt for food. Even though the longer I wait, the slower I get due to hunger. I don't think, well, I'm not too far away from town. Let's see if I can get into town into that basement that had that food. That seems like a good idea. Oh, and I forgot to butcher the decayed pouncer. That wouldn't have been a bad idea either. Just in case it goes getting back up. So, some shorts here. Anything else? Compression top that fits. I'm gonna cut these shorts up. Alright, close. Or not. Oh, right, I, I jumped through the window. That's... That's naughty. Don't need to drink. There's some vinegar here and a long string. Tea leaves, a towel. Yeah, all the food was downstairs. What was this? More rags. A the photo album, that's right. I, w I was wanting the photo album. My family, I have finally found you again. Let me see you. Oh, I can't. I can't see you. It's too dark. But I will see you soon. No, not the toastums. Not the toastums. Don't make me eat the toastums. I might have to eat the toastums. Please, no. Not the toastums. 
Not anything but the toast. I want to eat the toast. I'd rather eat cornmeal. No, you can, you can make something out of cornmeal, right? Nachos, cornbread, Johnny Cakes. We're going to have to learn how to cook. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take my cooking tutorial pretty soon. Otherwise, I'll have to eat toastums. I'm very hungry, actually. Oh, please no. Uh, eh. No. No toastums. Why? Why must I eat the toastums? The toastums are so bad. It hurts us. It hurts us. You can't eat your sling, but I would rather eat my sling than toastums. <laughs> Although they are. Although if you ask me, I did enjoy the toastums. Don't don't get me wrong. But I hate them. They make me want to die. Enjoyably. They're the most enjoyable. In fact, do you wait, are you enjoying them? In fact, yeah. Uh, I would say that the toastums are more enjoyable than cookies. In a way that makes me want to die. Kill me. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm going to try to learn how to cook so that I don't have to go through this toastum fiasco again. Let me take some flour. Up to the kitchen. Okay, so if I'm in the kitchen... And, uh, there's chocolate drink. Oh, a dried salad. I should have drank this rotten milk instead. No, I should have ate the dried salad instead, but... Okay, so... An oven. It is empty. Okay. Um, so how can I, like, apply the oven? Because... Mmm, cooking. Yeah, cooking. Let's try cooking. Cooking, cooking. My morale is, I don't want to cook! I hate toastums. Ah, okay, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> okay, think of, think of, oh, if only my family was, oh, I wish, uh, 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 it's only lucky that my family can't see me like this. <laughs> Sick on toastums. I would rather eat the tea leaves than any more toastums. Dear God. Where was the door? Where was the door to this place? There it is, okay. Alright, so still too little light to read. I don't need to reload, I need to read. Photo album. Yeah, you can't see to read, okay. I can't see my family. All I want to do is see my family. Not eat toastums. Alright, drink. I said drink, drink, drink. Oh god, I thought I couldn't possibly feel worse than the feeling that Toastums gives me. And then I drink toilet water. Toilet water. Which is not nearly as enjoyable as Toastums. <laughs> but at least it doesn't make me want to die. Alright, let's get the heck out of here, because if I run into a zombie like this, or just about anything, I will have a problem. So let's go back to the shelter and think about dying. <laughs> Seriously consider keeling over. I'm gonna look I'm gonna think about my family. Okay, yes. It looks like Okay, so that's one problem with this tile set. The open window looks like a broken window, and that is not a broken window, that is an open window, so yeah, I think I think I like the um, the first tile set I chose after the default one. That is the tile set for me. I'm just going to sit here and read my photo album. Oh wait, was the photo album not quite as good as the other thing? Photo album. This takes 10 minutes to read. And it gives me plus one morale. Whereas the Time Magazine was plus two morale for 10 minutes to read. Well, if I have seven intelligence, but I've got zero intelligence. And I can easily read a photo album with zero intelligence. You can always easily read a photo album. I'm happy about photo albums. 
and spirituality. Photo album. Spiritual, spiritual. Photo album. Okay, I'm actually maintaining a certain degree of focus. So, I'm not sure if what I just did actually is getting me ahead of the game, because the, the amount of time I'm spending feeling sick is making me hungry again, but at least I can spend time reading this family, or reading this photo album and getting reacquainted. At least I bought myself some time. I don't know about... I don't know about exactly advancing my cause, but I bought time. And maybe that'll that'll give me some sort of opportunity. That was not apparent before. I am very hungry. Okay, so on the other hand, maybe maybe I did just waste time because I am very unhappy about my situation. Okay, water, or food poisoned, or did I did I vomit? Maybe I vomited. That's why because of the food poisoning. Could very well be. This toilet water might be my downfall, really. But in any case, I'm gonna keep reading the photo album till daytime. Or what happened? Or no, it is daytime. Okay. Well, very good. It's daytime. My focus is returning. Spiritual, spiritual. Okay. So, I'm just very, once again, I'm very hungry and I need to deal with it. So, I will take care of that next time. Hopefully, maybe I'll learn how to cook. That will be an adventure. So, save and quit. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Cataclysm Z. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time, survivors.